Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to the next lesson in our modern OpenGL series. In this lesson, we're going to go ahead and really finish off our camera and be able to move left and right. Now this lesson is kind of fun because we'll actually be able to use, again, a little bit of the math, things we've talked about, like the cross product, to actually implement a working camera. And some of these ideas of building a new matrix, such as the matrix that we're building for our camera through the look at function, are actually going to be useful in other parts of computer graphics. Now, you'll just have to subscribe and check out the series to make sure that you see why or when, but this is a common idea of things that we're going to want to do. Again, using our tool, the cross product, to take two vectors and get a third perpendicular vector. Anyways, with that said, let's go ahead and dive in here. So let's just go ahead and recompile this code. Again, just so you can see, I'm just using our standard compile here of where we left off last time. And I'll go ahead and uh, give this a run here. So we can see our program from the previous lesson. If you haven't seen already, make sure you check it out. Uh, but basically, I'm moving my mouse to the left and to the right to do a mouse look. And then the forward and the back keys will move me uh, appropriately. So I can effectively circle around this object and again, as a brief uh, code review, uh, and I've got an alt tab to get out of this because I've got my mouse locked to the window. Uh, so just a little reminder if you're following along there. Um, but if we go into our source code, let's just dive into our main loop here. Uh, this was sort of to lock our mouse to the screen. So we worked on that last time. And then from our input, again, we kept track of the uh, current mouse position so that in our camera function here in mouse look, if we go ahead and uh, check it out here, uh, let's see if I can go ahead and uh, go to the definition. Oh, nope, IntelliSense doesn't want to work, so I'll do it <laughs> manually here. Uh, let's go ahead and edit our uh, camera. But basically, this mouse function, uh, or mouse look function, took the current position that was coming in, and as long as it wasn't the first look at our mouse, um, because we need to store something in the previous position in order to get a delta between the previous and the current mouse. And then we rotate about uh, a vector, which is our up, if we're going left or right. Now, again, that could change if you went ahead in the previous lesson and implemented a way to uh, tilt the camera upwards effectively. Uh, that's why you use the up vector here, because you're your up isn't necessarily always your y-axis. Again, think about it like on an airplane or something uh, where you want to be able to, you know, your view direction sort of changing. Um, but anyways, that was the main idea. And then the trick was to make sure that we moved forward here uh, by updating our eye position along the view direction, right? So if we're turned to the left a little bit, forward is going to be, you know, some direction in the z and the x plane. OK, uh, so X and Z need to be updated. Y doesn't really change here uh, for where up is uh, unless we're tilting up or down. Again, depends on your camera, but that's the idea here. So we did the same thing for moving forward and backward. And critically, the little mistake that I made last time but corrected, right? Our look at or the center where we're looking at is the I plus our view uh, direction forward. OK, so that was the basic idea. And now we want to go ahead and implement the left and the right movements here. Now, again, if I just implement these as, say, uh, updating the initial like x position by, you know, minus equal speed or something, let's just go ahead and illustrate what happens. Uh, and again, why is it positive uh, for the uh, moving right and negative for left? Well, again, use your right hand rule, right? My thumb is the x axis so positives in that direction. So let's just go ahead and see what happens if I do this. Um, again, it's it's valid. Uh, and I'll go ahead and bring in my uh, window here. I'll go ahead and press the right key. And it does move me right. And the left key moves me, well, uh, to the left here. But OK, now I'm going like some weird direction. I don't even know. I mean, it is updating my x and my uh, y. But oh my goodness, I'm going forward and backward and all sorts of weird directions. So needless to say, we can't just update the i position here. OK, so what we're actually going to have to do here is in order to figure out where we're moving is again to think about our our right hand rule and i'm going to keep doing this but take an axis place it right in front of your head here with your thumb uh index finger and middle finger forming a right triangle here or, or coordinate system place it in front of your head and then as you turn uh keep it you know perfectly in front of you 
Uh, and as you do that, which direction or which of these axes, thumb, index finger, or your third finger, are telling you which way is to the right or to left? Well, it's your thumb, right? That's the right vector is what we call it here. Okay, so you might read about this on various tutorials, but that's the idea. So if I update my position based off of this vector that's going to the right, then I should be able to slide to the right and slide to the left, okay? Just like a, a good dance move or something. <laughs> but that's the idea. So my question to you, and this is something where you can pause the video and think about it, is how do I get that right vector? And if you thought about it for a little bit, uh, maybe you paused the video, maybe you didn't, but you just want to try it out. Well, I know where up is in my world, right? That's not going to change if I'm moving left or right. Uh, I know where my view direction is, so I've got two vectors, right? Somewhere forward, somewhere up. Well, then I can get that perpendicular vector, right? Because forward, I know, is sort of falling my eyes. Uh, up is, you know, wherever my head is oriented. And then I can compute that uh, cross product. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, let's use GLM, nice library for us, to compute this uh, right vector here. I'm going to call it that exactly the right vector because that's what we're computing. I don't necessarily need to save it here because I'm uh, computing it uh, every frame here. I've got a view direction, so forward and up here. Okay, um, so, and again, you might, um, you, you, you kind of have to think about this um, with your right hand rule um, as far as what order do I uh, multiply the vectors in. <laughs> this is one of those things where you kind of want to draw it. Right, this is what we're, we're working on here from the last time. But uh, again, I'm building this sort of coordinate system here. Uh, so let's just draw a little coordinate system. Uh, and let me draw it relatively straight here. There's our X, Y, and uh, Z, you know, something like that. Z positive, X positive, Y positive, and of course these all go to infinity. There we are. Uh, and let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, draw our little uh, camera here or a coordinate system, right? Um, and I've got another camera. Let's say I've I've turned a little bit. <laughs> I have to think about how to. So uh, here's our camera, you know, somewhere in the world. Uh, here's Y. Uh, here is. Uh, well, let me just actually draw the little camera. Uh, I'm going to sort of tilt it downwards or something. Let's say we've done that. And you can kind of draw the axis through it. Uh, camera right here is the X. Uh, here's like up maybe. Here's uh, forward. And I know it's hard to visualize a little bit, but you know, somewhere there is, you know, this right vector coming down here somewhere. Okay, so that's what I'm actually computing. So I've got up here, okay, along this axis. I'll go ahead and highlight it. Forward here. And I want to get this, you know, third axis that's perpendicular. Sorry, it's a little bit messy there. Here, I'll just fill in the lines. Uh, actually, let's just fill in a different uh, color. Here we go. Because this is the important thing. Yeah, let's do it in red. It's that important. There we go. Uh, so here's our up. Here's our forward. And then you have to use your imagination again, but these are uh, in 3D. And here's right. Okay? So that's what I'm trying to compute. So I'm taking up uh, or our forward here, our view, and I want to cross it with up here. Okay. Uh, now why that order? It's because we want to get the vector that's, you know, coming out uh, this way. Okay. <laughs> so that's the idea. I mean, you could, you could try it experimentally, I suppose, both ways and, and see if it works. Um, uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and just take the view direction and our up vector. Okay. That gives us our right vector. And then that's how we're going to update our eye position. Okay. The right vector uh, times whatever our speed is. Uh, and we said left uh, is a negative, okay? And the positive is going to be when we are uh, moving right, okay? Because of our right-hand rule, right? Where x positive is. So let's go ahead and compile this and give it a run. And let's bring our camera in, okay? And first and foremost, let's just kind of line it up with our scene here. And if I go left, okay, that's looking pretty good. And right, okay? So now I'm just using the right key and I should just be able to, you know, spin around here. I can use forward and back to move along here. Uh, but again, left, right, left, right, forward, uh, left, right. Doesn't matter what orientation we get in, left, right, forward, back. Uh, it's working there. Okay. Uh, so that's it. That's all there really is. This is a, you know, shorter lesson in a way um, for getting our camera working. This idea that 
we can just compute this right vector to move along. And again, this is really nice or an interesting idea uh, for us in computer graphics, this idea that we can recompute different coordinate systems. In fact, we're going to need this again, as alluded to, when we get into advanced shading techniques to compute new spaces and perpendicular vectors, for instance. All right. Uh, so with that said, folks, uh, a couple of things here as we wrap up here, uh, I want to go ahead and announce that I'll eventually be putting on my course here the OpenGL series so you can follow along for free with my other courses and other uh, resources up here. Uh, and it'll be a nice way to track your progress along this OpenGL series. So again, I think that's uh, something optional that you can use, but um, you know, free for the OpenGL um, for this particular series of OpenGL introduction that we're doing. Uh, and with that said, folks, otherwise, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned uh, some stuff here. Again, this is quite a... Um, you know, uh, satisfying achievement, I think, to get this camera working and then to be able to move uh, forward, left, uh, right, and back, uh, and so on. And again, as mentioned, you can try to translate these to W, A, S, and D. Um, now, if you want to move up, maybe the space key or something, that is literally just moving the, um, well, it depends how you want to uh, handle it, but, you know, updating the uh, sort of Y position. You could think about that. And also think about if you want your camera to tilt up and down so you have a full sort of 360 degrees uh, look uh, capability, I suppose. But again, I'll leave that challenge to you folks. Again, uh, go ahead and have some fun with it. And in the meantime, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next videos. All right. Take care, folks.